what's up guys it's been a while randy gbh i'm back new diorama showcase video and this is from my good friend josh aka kraken's customs and he made this japanese style dojo and yeah let's take a look at it so before i do a whole rundown of the diorama i just want to give you a nice look of it all around different angles as you can see it looks fantastic the way the light shines through everywhere really cool design top side over here really awesome work by my buddy josh and i'm pretty sure it is based on a real location uh this is his blueprints which is awesome he included that but yeah uh takamatsu kagawa it might be over there a real place and he also gave me this diagram that i have to follow and i'll let you know what that is for in a second but yeah let's quick look and let's break it down and show you guys all the work he put into it all right so i told josh i wanted something that i could like tuck in and put away it doesn't take up too much space so it, i wouldn't have to leave it like this so what he did was make uh different parts to it this is the top ceiling part and as you can see he did a beautiful like wood like design to it this is insulation foam the stuff you can get at home depot or lowe's it's pink so it comes pink or blue and as you can see it looks like wood really cool design and paint work on that so there's one piece in the anime <laughs> and this is a other piece which has magnets so these are held on with magnets and i'll show you that in a bit top supporting uh frame of the diorama right here and also woodwork and a cool looking design to it you can see he put like uh the actual like beams and stuff right here same goes for the front side and more good looking paint work next up we have the panels which look awesome i love the way the rice paper hides like it's not clear but you can still see behind it and makes shining light through it really cool so he did that with popsicle sticks rice paper and doll rods and this is why i needed this little diagram right here because he color coordinated everything and i can just follow through and know where each piece goes so orange and orange there's the magnet, sticks right through. Here is purple, purple, and so on. So everything has its spot. Every spot is planned out for it. And you just put it where it goes and there you go. So I can take all that down or it can take itself down like it did and put that away and get to the bottom part. So this last piece is the bottom of the diorama, the flooring, and he actually had to cut it right here just to help me out on the shipping cost. Uh, if not, it would have just stayed one piece, but he helped me out. And as you can see, he designed it so it looks like different type of wood texture and bamboo along with the floor mat. So right here, you can see the wood grain and everything going on. Really awesome paintwork, looks fantastic and the bamboo style uh, mat right here and all of that has magnets as you can see right here here's a magnet other magnet right there not only did he include those walls he also added a bit of variety let me show you that so josh was kind enough to add bloody variants to the wall panels so not only do I have the option of losing a panel anywhere I want because of the magnets, I can also add bloody variants. So he added me uh, four panels, which have the bloody cracked beat up versions. And then I have the rest of the regular panels. And this looks fantastic. It makes for different scenes, variety. So it makes it really unique. Thank you so much, Josh Kraken's Customs. I hope you guys check him out. I'll put the link down below to his profile. He can do any scale. I'm almost positive any type of scale you guys want. And yeah, thank you very much for this awesome, beautiful diorama. 
and I'm sure I'll always come back for more. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.